And we're back yet again with yet another unboxing. And this time it's something I think you guys are going to be really excited about because it's something that is brand spanking new. It is not out yet. And it's actually going to be out in two days from the time you see this video. It'll be available this Friday on the 28th of September. And, and it's going to be on sale on the day that it launches. So if you want to stick around to the end of the video to see what that's all about, do that. But this is another flashlight from Olight. It is the S1R2 baton. So the second iteration of the S1R, a very, very popular knife here on the EDC Weekly or all here on the channel and especially on the EDC Weekly. It's one of, I would say, one of the more common everyday carry flashlights out there. Probably not the most popular, but it is definitely among the popular flashlights on the EDC Weekly. So let's get into this box and see what, or this package, and see what the S1R2 is all about. So I've been sitting on this package for too long. I've really wanted to get inside and it's killed me because I've been thinking about getting an S1R baton just to have because so many people do carry it and I've had the M1T Raider, the i3T EOS. I've had the M1X Striker. Forgot I even had this flashlight. And I've got the i1R EOS on my keys. And I just wanted to see what all the fuss was about with the S1R. And then lo and behold, Olight reaches out and they're like, hey, we got a little surprise for you. Want to check it out? And I was like, of course, of course I want to check it out. So without any more delay, let's get inside this package. And I, that's nice there. I didn't even notice this. This customer is very important to Olight. Thank you for taking great care as you provide happiness to our customers. How nice, Olight. How nice. Thank you so much. You're very important to me too. So. That's all that's <laughs> in that envelope. And then the inside we have the standard Olight packaging, the white box with the actual picture of the flashlight on the outside. Applications it says hiking, camping, hurricane, emergency. This has been good last week for me. Household and tools. This side, five year warranty quality promise. Learn more. And then on the back, the S1R Baton 2 is a single IMR16340 battery powered rechargeable light that reaches a max output of a thousand lumens. The TIR optic lens pushes the beam to a new level, unmatched clarity and balanced hotspots. So this is a wide beam flashlight with a very bright hotspot in the middle. It features an articulate texturized body pattern that provides a great feel resulting in a firmer grip. It also comes with the upgraded MCC2 charging cable that is thinner and compatible with all existing Olight MCC rechargeable products. So lumens, 1000, which will drop to 300. It'll last for 1.5 minutes and then drop to 300 lumens for another 37 minutes, 600 lumens, which drops to 300. So it can do 600 for 1.5 minutes and then drops to 30, 300 lumens for 45 minutes. You got 60 lumens for three hours and 40 minutes, 12 lumens for 20 hours and 0.5 lumens. Thank you. Light. Moonlight is my favorite mode, eight days. And you've got a maximum beam distance of 145 meters, 100 meters, 40 and 15. You've got a candela rating of 5,250 IPX8 waterproof, meaning it can be submerged for two meters for up to 30 minutes, 1.5 meter impact resistance and a maximum throw of 145 meters, 63 millimeters long, 21 millimeters in diameter and 51 grams. That is 2.48 inches by 0.83 inches and it is 1.8 ounces. So there we go. Without any more delay, let's actually get inside this package. So again, they've typically got this tear, which why do you need that? If you've got this, why do you need that? Anyway, pull to open. There we go. Wow. Okay. That's much smaller than I thought. The S1R baton just seemed much thicker. It seemed more like this in thickness from all the pictures, but hey, that's not bad. That's about the same thickness as the M1T Raider, which I had no problem EDCing. So why exactly did I not carry this before? Who knows? Anyway, inside this, it says, read me before first use unscrew, just telling us to remove the film, um, store the battery in the box after being taken out of the product inside the box. You've got these things. So back here, you've got your user manual. It says, thank you for being a part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy Olight team. Thanks Olight. You have this nice little pouch. Ooh, it's 
velvety. Nice little brown pouch. Typically you expect something black from Olight, right? You got a box to hold your battery. You have the much smaller charging cable. And of course a wrist strap, which never, never, ever use. Um, I will use that. If I can get it back in there, I'll put it in there. But anyway, nice pouch. Probably will never use the pouch. And I will never look at any of this stuff ever again. Cool. Uh, we'll leave this out for later. There you go. You've got the S1R Baton 2. Very small and compact. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm also, so, well, here they are telling me to remove the film and I'm trying to turn it on before doing that. Film removed. And then just for the record, this is the battery. This is a custom battery. It is a proprietary battery because it does have that magnetic charging. This is the same as the R50 Pro Seeker. It's got a proprietary battery and that's just the way it's gonna be. Some people don't like the fact that OLED uses proprietary batteries. I personally really prefer the convenience of magnetic charging. Just gonna throw that out there. Charging your flashlight by doing this is so, so nice. But before we go any further, let's do a few size comparisons. So the flashlight that I carry every single day every day, I've been carrying it for months, is the Rovivon Aurora. This is the A4 in titanium. So you can see they're almost the same length. This one is about not quite half an inch longer. So obviously this one is much, much narrower. This one has a maximum output of about 550 lumens. This one has a maximum output of a thousand. That is a huge difference and not much difference in size. I mean, obviously it's, it's heftier, but that's a big difference. Let's throw it up against the i3T EOS. You can see that the i3T is much longer, but also much narrower. It's much closer in size and in, in diameter to the Rovivon flashlight. But this one, as you can see, is much closer in diameter to the M1T Raider. Also have that blue bezel. This one is not crenulated like the M1T. And of course the M1T is, is tail switch. This one is side switch. And just for kicks, We'll throw this one out there, the M1X Striker, even though it doesn't really <laughs> fit in the group. I just have it on the table. And move this one out of the way. That is the i1R EOS. So it's, it's a nice medium. It's a nice happy medium between these two. And I'll say, let's throw this one in here too. These are really Olight's core EDC flashlights right here. And uh, I think it's a nice, happy medium between this flashlight. That magnet is really messing with me. <laughs> um, but it, it is a nice, happy medium between these two flashlights. And I'd say like maybe between these three, it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's brighter and smaller than the M1T. So this one is, is based off a CR123 battery, which uh, not everybody is gonna like. And uh, you can get a rechargeable battery for this flashlight here, but if you do that, you're gonna have to pull the battery out and put the battery in a charger. This one, just slap it on here. But the difference, the difference is price. So you're looking at 20 bucks for both of these flashlights. This one's, these two are 20. This flashlight right here is I think 35-ish, somewhere in there, 40. And this one is 65 bucks, so definitely have a little more price to worry about there, but you do get quite a bit more for your money. So the way this flashlight works is you click to turn it on, that is constant on, and you saw that little green indicator light turn on there. Once you get below, I believe, maybe 60%, I can't remember exactly the numbers, but once you get below a certain percent, that will turn yellow, and then after you get below another percent, it'll turn red, indicating that it's time to charge, which is really, really nice. A lot of these flashlights don't have charge level indicators, and that's nice to have. Uh, but yeah, click on and it is constant. If you want to switch modes, just hold and it'll switch. You can also hold and it'll cycle through constantly. And if it's off, you can hold to turn on the moonlight mode. So you, can, you have to hold to turn on moonlight and it'll turn back off. Uh, but it will remember that you are on moonlight mode. And if you want to get to turbo, which is a thousand lumens, double click and it'll, it'll jump into that turbo mode really quickly. Um, I like that little fade on and fade off, but yeah, double click, you can see it. 
Uh, and we'll remember that too. We've got low, which I believe is 12 lumens, 60 lumens, 600 lumens, and then it goes back to 12. So you do have to double click to get to turbo and to get to moonlight, you have to hold. And then of course you can hold again to cycle up to 12, 60, 600. So there you go, nice little light. I like it. I am a fan. I am a huge fan of these magnetic chargers. Again, I know a lot of people don't like the proprietary stuff. I don't mind a little cable like this. This isn't too terribly much to replace if you lose it. And that is a huge convenience as far as charging goes. Just get it near it and boom, you're charging. I love that. One of the things I don't like about the Rovivon flashlight is that I've got to finagle this little thing out of here and then get a cord in there. Not all the, the USB cords that I have will actually fit in that little itty bitty, it's recessed. So if you don't have the right cable, you can't actually charge some of these flashlights, especially with the luminous bodies. If for some reason in the luminous bodies of the Rovivon, the, the inner workings are, they're further recessed into the body. Um, and it's hard to plug this thing in at night if you can't see. This thing, you just get it near and you've got your light and boy, I do like that. And of course, you've got your double clip here. You have your double clip from, from Olight, so this will fit on a hat or you can clip it in your pocket, either tip down or tip up, whichever one you want. You can use both. And this, this milling on the body is nice. It looks really, really nice. Of course, you've got your, your bezel and the button there, the blue bezel, and the blue bezel here. And yeah, it's just, it's exactly what you would expect. The nice anodized aluminum from Olight, really compact, built really solid. And I think this is a win. So this flashlight actually costs $64.99. You can get it straight from Olight starting this Friday, the 28th of September. And if you buy it on that day, you can actually get 25% off its, its starting price. And if you buy two, you can get 30% off the total price. But if you spend over $99, they're actually doing a promotion where you get a free H05 headlamp, which is a pretty good deal. But I've got something for you guys. If you want to win one of these, if you want an S1R Baton 2 and you don't want to have to buy it, you can enter to win. There is a link in the description down below. It is a gleam.io link. That is us giving away one of these flashlights. So if you are interested in winning one of these, click the link in the description down below, follow all the instructions, and you are entered to win. So final thoughts on the S1R Baton 2. I think Olight nailed this flashlight. Some things I did not mention before where there are so many modes. There's only one button on this, the side switch, but there are so many modes in this flashlight that Olight has packed in. So there are five brightness modes. You've got your low, medium, high, those are your core, and then you have to use different functions of the side switch to be able to access the moonlight. You hold for the moonlight and for the turbo, you've got to double click that button. So there are already three different functions of that single button, but there's also a lockout mode. And I didn't know that. So if you hold that button, moonlight will come on and then the flashlight will turn off. And when it does, you have a little indicator there showing that you were in lockout mode to turn it off. Just hold and moonlight mode will come back on. Click to turn on. So it's got moonlight mode, but it also has a strobe mode. So if you click to turn on and when the flashlight's on, triple click, you get to a, a strobe mode. Tiny little flashlight with one button, and I think that's impressive. The other thing I didn't mention, because it does have that magnetic charging base, you can stick it to anything metal that's also magnetic. That's huge. And I, I think Olight nailed this, I really do. So if you are in the, the market for a new flashlight, you have that budget of about 65 bucks, I think this one's worth checking out. And if you were a fan of the original, I'm sure this one's just a little bit better. It's definitely brighter and uh, I'm a fan. I think it's a little bulky still. It's still just a little chunky for my taste, but I will probably be carrying this for the future, uh, for the foreseeable future, just because it's a really nice light. Again, if you want to win one of these, there is a link down below. And if you want to see more about it or potentially buy one yourself, like this Friday when they are on sale, use those links down below and that helps the channel out. But if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And of course, hit that notification button so you're notified when I upload new videos. I do videos like this all the time. I upload an EDC weekly video every Thursday. And of course, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at BestMEDC. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.